Not even close to the end, it's just beginning Life is getting lighter while the days are getting brighter, yeah And that's a good, I won't even worry anymore Took all my care, still can kick them all out the door My name is uh, Dan Kotpachilins um, I'm from TSMC, I run the uh, IP marketing there as well the head of all the IP Alliance programs. I'm based in uh, Sinju, Taiwan. Okay, so today I'm gonna talk to you about the uh, OIP errors. Uh, I think some of you probably work with TSMC for quite a while uh, already, so, but uh, I'm just gonna go through the, what, what we think about what it means by OIP errors. Okay, before we start, let's, let's look back at the, the history of silicon. I think this, um, I think I'm standing behind the, okay. So history of silicons. You look back at 50 years. Okay, this is um, you know all the all the known people here: uh, Julius Black, Robert Noyes. Okay, so why am I going through this? Um, this um, you look at the uh, the the first transistor, Bell Lab, 1947. Okay, uh, first IC in TI, 1958, and first planar IC in 1960. That's a few transistors there. You're going back this uh, from transistor to uh, to IDM. In the 10 micron era, most things is custom design, right? You look at the all the custom design, um, and then come in the in the 80s, which is uh, LSI logic uh, with the ASIC ASIC errors with the uh, invention of the design flow, the LDE. Okay. And then TSMC come 1987. Um, fabulous semiconductor. This from the one micron to uh, to 65 nanometer. Okay. So what what's common in all this? You look at the uh, you look at the design the design uh, complexity. Most of the most of the uh, designer can still do the design themselves. No issues. And with the invent of the uh, EDA tools. Okay, with the invent in EDA tools, it got easier, right? We look at the uh, the relative uh, complexity and the, uh, the design tools. It get easier, easier. So the explosions of all the uh, fabulous semiconductor partners and customer. So you look at the the, the gaps there, it's big gaps. You have to do custom. Small gaps, you can do it yourself. Okay, but starting from 40 nanometer. You look at the uh, the manufacturing complexity is getting more and more difficult. You have uh, double double patternings. You have uh, uh, 3D extractions. You have uh, more fin fats, which is uh, getting more and more difficult in the uh, 16 nanometer. So this is what we call OIP errors. Okay. So what what are the uh, characteristics of OIP errors? Semiconductor kind of shipments going up. You can look at that. We are building fab like no tomorrows. Okay, uh, huge opportunity from uh, convergence. You look at the uh, the products out there. The time to market is getting tight, tighter. There's a uh, the requirement to do uh, more and more uh, functionalities. And customers still can invest in R&D, but they need more and more help to do the design. Okay, you need more and more help to do the design. So what was the impact to the uh, EDA side? There's more focus on EDA tools. Okay. Uh, point two is getting more and more difficult. Uh, customers, they're coming to us like, okay, then you have these tools, these tools, these tools. Uh, they, they are having difficulty to uh, try to put all this together. So the design flow getting more, more important. So TSMC is working hard to working, uh, helping the customer. So what are the, some of the objectives on the OIP? So increase the, the breadth of EDA tools, okay. Quality assurance, the mass cost getting more and more expensive. You look at the complexity there. If you tape out 16 nanometer, your mass cost is in 10 million dollars or whatever. Uh, imagine you have one design flow that costs the, uh, uh, the tape out not to work, or the IP that's not working, that can be quite expensive. And getting uh, early access to develop uh, IP, the 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 tool itself, because the complexity is going up, you need to uh, work at earlier to get the tools. The tools are not ready, the tools are not there before. Okay, so this is uh, a data I got from uh, IBS um, in terms of the 
relative complexity of uh, of the design. Normalized to 65. Okay. At 40, it's getting more difficult. Okay. At 28, it's getting more and more difficult. You look the, the red color is IP qualifications, and you look at 16 and 20, the time to uh, source the IP, time to find all the IPs. That's the big chunk of the the design. It's just to you look at the uh, now chips you have USB, you got HDMI, you got all kind of IPs that had to be there. Uh, you have all the analog, the analog blocks. You have all the uh, PL standard cell memories, so many different kind of memories that you have to put and source and find the right IPs. Okay, uh, this is big, big chunk. The customer come to me it's like, okay, Dan, um, what can TSMC do to help? Okay. They have to spend a lot of time to do sourcing to make sure that the uh, the IP vendor deliver what they say they will deliver. Um, they have to spend time actually doing the characterization themselves just to make sure that the, the chip will work. Yeah. So if you, this is the big, big chunk okay, to verify, to cross, to, to, uh, to cross verify multiple IPs and make sure they are interoperable. Okay. Um, you source IP from one vendor. Doesn't mean it, it may work by itself. Doesn't mean it will work with another vendor's uh, IPs or in your design. And this is a big, big chunk of uh, of the customer when they look at the new design tape out. So what what can uh, what TSMC is trying to do uh, do to help is uh, we have a program called TSMC 9000, which is basically it, in a way kind of like ISO uh, 9000. You do what you say you'll do. Okay. We have a team, I have a team in, uh, in Taiwan, about 30 people, just working with the uh, IP partners, working with customers uh, to make sure that the IPs, uh, they deliver what they say they will deliver. Uh, so the, the 9000, we look at the, the DRC, LVS, the same level. We look at uh, how they do the characterizations. We look at how they uh, do the design methodologies. We look at how they uh, uh, do post silicon verifications. Okay, so then then we have a team that do audits of all the uh, all the IP partners uh, methodologies and testing capabilities. Um, so hopefully, customer can look at the uh, the TSMC 9000. All these data are online, so customer can look at the TSMC 9000 and say, okay. You know, this is IP is already gone through the uh, the check, so at least they know what what uh, what's being delivered, what they say is delivering. And we're not testing the uh, functionality of the IP. That's that's very different because each of the IP when partner has their own requirements, and customer design they have their own requirements. So we are not checking for any functionality, but looking at make sure that they deliver what they say they deliver. So this, this uh, in a way, is kind of consumer report for, for our, our customer. And I have a customer come to me, he's like, Dan, you know, if you want to expand this, we'll give you money to expand. That's uh, very interesting. They're actually going to give me money to, uh, to TSMC just to run the group. No string attached. <laughs> so I think this, we have about, uh, in, in the, uh, the list of the IP, it's about 10,000. IP in the in the catalogs now. Okay, we there's about five thousand of them is, is on our system. Okay, um, because a lot of the uh, five thousand IPs are a customized IP. Okay, um, and every month we still have about a couple hundred IP that uh, being registered in, in TSMC for us to look at. Okay, so um, and every month. We we find something new, okay. We might find something new. Even even the ten thousand IPs you look at, about a couple hundred of them you know, there's uh, issues and problem, and we found out of the the ten thousand IP we found about two three hundred of them that's actually could be potentially fatal. They, if you use the IP, it will not work. Okay, there's about maybe a thousand of them that uh, there will be issues and problem. But uh, because we 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 want to look at this as a consumer report. If you look at the IP, 
and you see the, the problem. If you don't use the features, that's okay, right? If you use the features, okay, you can still tape out. But there are a couple hundred IP that, if you use it, they're actually going to be fatal errors. So this TSMC 9000, which is part of the, uh, the OIP. Okay. So our goal is to, uh, reduce the, uh, to reduce the uh, sourcing effort, okay. to improve the IP qualities, and work with the uh, IP partners to, uh, and the EDA vendors to uh, integrate with the tools. It's just not just standalone IP d developments, and well, you have to make sure they work with the, uh, the EDA tools. And synchronize with TSMC process. If you look at the 16 nanometer, there's going to be a lot more. Uh, you think about it, most of these IP companies are quite small. Right? They, are, they have maybe 10 to 20 people. And imagine the 16 nanometer design uh, efforts. They also have to go through the same process to try to learn the, uh, how to do the design and how to make sure that the, uh, the design uh, works. Right. Um, and customers who have thousands of uh, cat, cat people, uh, they, the 10, 10, 20 people companies will have to go through the same process. So this is uh, our, our uh, ecosystem uh, partners. We have 40 of them in the, uh, in the IPs. And this is uh, EDA2 two, EDA two vendors. Um, and the uh, DCA and VCA partners. Okay. So all these data is uh, available on, on the website as well.